Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to look into how to bring the fields from the field sets in the record edit form. But before getting started, if you like my videos, please subscribe to this channel. So if you would have seen this form, there are around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fields. But let's say customer is going to say you that please can you add one more field or in future, he can ask you to add more five or six fields as per as his need. Now the problem with this approach is that we have to go to the LWC component and then we have to add the field one by one by just copying this and adding one more field. But doing this every time is not that efficient. Now, one of the way to tackle this problem is that you can create a field set and then from that field set, you can pull the fields inside your screen and show it on the screen. So right now, what we have is, I have the form of contact object. This is a form of a contact object. So I'm going to go to the contact object. And I'm going to create a field set. Let's name it as test field set. Now this field set is created. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few fields from your contact. So few of the fields are first name, last name, right? And more fields are I think so data.com key can be one of the field. If you want active field, we can also add active field. I'm also going to add phone field. So I have added it on one, two, three, four, five, five fields. Okay. And I'm going to save it. So I have a field set name as test field set. I have added five fields as per as the need. So now what I want is when my component is going to reload it. So if I'm going to reload my component again, okay, I should be able to see all the fields that I've added inside the field set over here. So let's say customer asks you to add one more field. You just go to the field set and add one more field. You don't need to make changes to any of the code. So as we want this functionality to work on on load, we are going to use the wire for it, right? We are going to use wire for it. But before going to that, I need to write an apex less. And I'm going to write a method which will bring all the field sets for me. So pull these things from here. I'll let you see then. Cache will equal to two. Now once that is done, I need the field set from this method, right? So I want to use public static string get field set. Okay. First parameter I will use string object name comma string field set name. And that's it, I think so. That's fine. Now, first, I need to get the 
descript that is uh, object descript results using the object name so to do that what we can do is we can use following thing schema dot describe schema dot describe s object result s obj result let's name it as equals to schema ma dot get global describe dot get what our object name is and then dot get scribe now using this we will be able to get the proper describe of the object that we have out of this describe we need to get the field set just public now to get the field set you can do is again i'm going to copy paste the schema dot equals to s object s object results dot field eld sets dot get map dot get the field set that we have Right. using this we will get probably the field set that we have available in the contact object now once we have this we have to return that field set but in the form of serialized format so what we have done is first we have got the overall describe of the particular object that we have that is in our case would be contact which we will pass it as a parameter from that form contact we have got the field set the whole field set and uh, from only the field sets we are passing the fields to our lwc component now as it is aura enabled it's an uh, it's this method is uh, visible to the lwc component so next thing what i'm going to do is I am going to import this particular uh, Apex uh, class in our uh, so I have already available I, I, I do have the code already available to import it so I can use this and directly inside this <clears throat> name let's name it as ring field set right and the uh, name of the apex classes and get field set yeah so now this will help us to get the field set but we have to build bring the field set based of the wire method so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use at the rate wire annotation we don't have wire over here i'm going to use wire over here as well now inside the wire i'm going to make a call call to bring field set method which acts as pseudo pseudo uh, method for this apex class right if you are making a call to this we are automatically making call to this now we have to also pass the parameters as you can see our apex class is expecting at least two parameters one is object name and another is nothing but the field set api name right so i have to pass the parameter i'm going to use curly braces over here and i'm going to use the object name equals to colon in our case it is contact comma the field set name is colon name of our field set that is test field set now once that i've done this okay i am going to use uh, let's say uh, accounts or let's say contacts i'm going to name it as contacts let's first of all take it to the next line dot get results 
let's name it as get results and fields this is the name of our temporary method and once we have done it we are going to take all the results inside this and curly braces is there an issue with this Then mm, it's it. That's fine. Comma curly braces. Whatever our parameters we have to pass, we did it. Yeah, we did pass the parameters. Once that is done, closed it. Close this particular wire method. Once that is done, we are using dot. Not there should be no dot. Okay, sorry. There should be not dot. Okay. Once that is done, we are going to make a call to bring the field chips. And using the results we will get okay fine now it's fine okay now if what's what's going to happen is as soon as the component will be reloaded wire is going to run it will go to the bring field set and it will make a call to this apex class right now inside this apex class what we are trying to do is we are trying to bring the field set right we are trying to build set bring the field set for a particular object with the particular field set name and as a parameter we are passing contact and test field set so for the contact object, it's going to pass the field set that the fields available within this field set, right? Now, once we have it, we are going to check if the result dot data is it not is it false or is it true, right? This means whether our apex class has returned the data or not. Okay. Else, if it it can be also one more case that result result uh, result will return error or either data. If it returns error, then we have to show the error. But if it returns data, we have to show the data, right? So now the data that has been written in the in the by the our APIs class is serialized format. So first, it's it is basically in the form of string, right? First, we need to convert it into a particular S object or an object. So for that, I'm going to create a variable. This dot contact fields. Let's name it as this, and then so not this dot. I'm going to name it as contact fields variable and this dot contact fields equals to result. First, I'm going to parse it right JSON dot parse result dot data. Right, it's going to parse all the data and show it on the screen. Right, and if there is any error, I'm just going to print the error over here console dot log. Error is plus result dot error. Now this this part is perfectly fine, but we need to loop this particular variable that this contact variable. We have to loop this in order to show the fields on the screen, right? So now this contact field is going to have all the fields available in our field sets. We need to loop over this particular variable in order to show things on the screen. So for that purpose. I'm going to remove all the lighting input fields available over here. Let's remove this one. And instead of that, I'm going to use template for each. Okay. Slash template. So we have template for each. Now it will have all these fields. This is going to have all the fields. So I'm going to loop over this. And I'm going to create four item. Each field, let's name it as each field. Now, after this, I'm going to use our lightning input field available. So first, it will be field name, hyphen name. I'm going to name it from the Our particular that is each fields field path with the help of which uh, using field path I will be able to get the uh, the label of that particular field right so now let's see how it's working I think so div will be needed yeah div will be needed we need a div
which will have a particular key right which, which is going to have a particular key so i'm going to give key equals to each field dot id let's try it out now At line number 11 13 right so it's saying that there is no closing out time i will use this slash lighting input field let's see now yeah it's working fine so now if i'm going to reload the component let's see what's going to happen is it going to change all the fields available over here and bring it from field set or not yes yes it's coming from field set so now I will again recap things what I have done. What I have done is first using this apex class for a particular object, I am trying to get a particular field set and return it in the form of string format. You can pause it and use the same code for this. Now once that is done, we want everything when the component is reloaded, right? So I am using wire. Inside this wire, I am making a call to that particular field set uh, method that I have. Now inside this I'm passing two parameters contact and the field set data I want to get. Then I'm using the method to make the call. Once that is done, if the data, the field set is written perfectly fine, then it's fine. I'm going to store it within a variable. If not, I'm showing it on the error. I'm parsing the result that I'm getting on successful results. I'm getting, I'm parsing the results and passing it to a contact fields uh, variable. Now this fields is going to have multiple values, multiple fields available within it, right? It's not only one field, it's around five fields. So if it is multiple values, I'm going to loop over it. So out of this contact field, I'm picking up each of the field one by one. And then inside the lightning input field, there are multiple field path and field, there are multiple um, variables that you can use to get a particular name of the variable or value of the variable, okay, from the field set. So I, what I've done is to provide the field name of the lightning input, I have provided the field path. Field path. So let's say next time customer wants to add one more field, right? Now I can see only five fields, first name, last name, data.com, active and phone. If he wants to add one more field named as description, he can just do this and save it. And automatically on reload, the description field will be added to the page. See, as you can see, description field is added. So this is how you pull the data from the field sets and show it in your record edit form. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel.